the queen of the most beautiful kingdom sends her greetings. She has sent us to give you this beautiful gift. Wow, this is beautiful. She sent you this beautiful gift because you're the chosen one to rule her kingdom alongside this river. You're always talking about her. When will I meet her? Very soon. She's preparing a very big party for you. Oh, party. Can I bring my friends? They love big day parties. There's no problem, Janet. You have as many parties as you want for your friends. And we will bring you all the gifts you need for the party. Oh, they will love it. Thank you. Tell the queen I love her. She loves you. And we all love you too. So, where about your parents? I get to change your work. Yes. It's all right. Take care of yourself, huh? We will see you as usual in the next meal. Bye-bye. We will see the next meal. Trust your dad. Mm -hmm. You will get all that I've promised. Okay. Then can I ask for more? No way! Look, young lady, better eat up your food and go to bed. Your teacher complained you were late to school yesterday. She doesn't like me more. No, oh, come on. How can you say that? What do you mean she doesn't like you? She's always shouting at me all the time. Oh, come on, Janet. She only wants what is best for you. She says you're very brilliant, but is a distracted. Don't speak for her. I love her to speak for us. Okay, I'm sorry, okay? But let her eat up and go to bed. Early to bed. Early to bed. Thank you, now eat up. Generally accepted as a medium of exchange. Money is anything that is not accepted as a medium of um, exchange. exchange. Give her a clap. Good. Then let's go that portion of her money. Portions of money. Can give me one. Who can give me one portions of money? Yes, you. It serves as a store of value. It serves as a store, store of value. Give her a clap. Another person that can give me another portion of money. Okay, you go back there. It serves as a unit of account. It serves as a unit of account. Give her a clap. Yes, another person. A function of money. Let's go back in. It serves as a medium of exchange. It serves as a medium of exchange. Give her a clap. Who laughed? Who were those laughing in my class? Who laughed in my class? Who laughed in my class? Who were those laughing? If you don't say who laughed, I am going to punish you. If you don't say who laughed in my class, I will punish each and every one of you. Who laughed in my class? Oh, you. No, it's not. Who? Janet and Stella. And who is it and Stella? 
Food is not a seller. Will both of you stand up there? I said stand up! Stand up, both of you! Why were you laughing in my class? We did not we laugh. laugh. We did not laugh. We weren't laughing. Come outside. Both of you come outside. <laughs> what are they? Goals. Characteristics of money. Dear friend, I've come to look after you. To look after me? I have my dad and mom, and they look after me. I was sent by your three friends, the servants of the queen of the most beautiful kingdom. Oh, I miss them. Can I see them again? I will ask them. Is there anything you want? Yes. Did you bring any other gift for me? Ask whatever you want. And you shall find it under your pillow the next day. I want a um, um, good necklace. You have it. Is there any other thing bothering you? Yes. My teacher, she's only shouting at me. She will never shout at you again. Now, when you get the gold necklace, give it to your best friend at school. And you have a better one the next day. You can go to sleep. Good night. Good night.
coming from? Where are you coming from? Huh? Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Sick. Are you sure you are ready for the day? I think you had better see the doctor. I have seen him, sir. And he said you are strong for the day? He says there's something absolutely wrong with me. But it's obvious you are so weak and he couldn't admit that. The point remains that it is all very strange, you know. He said so too. Very strange. What is strange? Please, I advise you to go home. You can go home and have your rest. Okay? Thank you, sir. It's all right.
your grandmother was a faithful servant and you have been given this rare privilege as you bring your friend along to your initiation party so will you bring many to the service of the great master and you will rule your world anyone who dares you will be sorry and if you work hard on this mission you will receive a greater commission and your rank and value will rise in the master's kingdom but always remember obedience the great master demands it
Swearing. That dog is right behind you. Oh my God. Are you sure you can afford those things? I don't want to punch holes in your pockets. I don't mind you punching holes in my pocket. Okay? We need to celebrate your admission into the university. It's not done every day. And I'm willing to celebrate with you. Okay. Order as much as possible as if this is your last day on earth. Okay. Yeah. You know what I've been praying for since? No. You want me to guess? Mm -mm. But then before you graduate, I'll be very rich. Very rich. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't want to go doing anything funny because of me. Because I've never complained. You will. When you start messing up with the bunch on campus, you will complain, but I have to be prepared for you. Andy. Mm. I didn't fall in love with you because of money, you know. I know. But money, the good money lubricates the wheels of love. <laughs> I love you so much, Andy. You're so practical. <sighs> I have friends who can help you. You know, you know what I mean? You. Your friends can help me? <laughs> What kind of a guy do you think I am, anyway? Your friends can help me. Your friends, who are they, anyway? Are they politicians? Or 419 people? Thrusters? Drug dealers? You're what being, are they to you? You're being jealous, Andy, unnecessarily. I was only joking. Oh, I see. <laughs> Listen, you got on the wrong side of my pride there, that's why. <laughs> it's all right. Men and their pride. Someone tells me you love me more when you become rich. Oh, you just wait, baby. You just wait. <laughs> Come on, let's eat. You have done well. Like a recruiting agent. Now, the time for your promotion has come. You saw how we made it easy for you to enter the university. At the university, your task will increase together with your promotion. Are you ready, Janet? Yes, my queen, I'm ready. Look around you. Look around and see my beautiful damsels. They all need husbands. And it is your next duty to get husband for them amongst your fellow students. How do I do that, my queen? We see from here that boys would like to feel your beautiful body by hugging you. And any of the boys that hugs you, whenever you put on this perfume, will get married to one of our girls. Now have the perfume. Have it. Ask anything you want me to do for you, my dear. And I will do it. I want my boyfriend Namdi to be rich, my queen. Consider it done, my dear. 
he will indeed be rich. But be careful not to get emotionally attached. Because you belong to us and not him. The ring, my dear. Give it to him wherever he goes wearing the ring. Men will favor him. Thank you very much, my queen. You're welcome, my princess. Music. I did for lectures, so. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I was a lecturer too. Man. Philosopher 101. That man, that man, bro, say, that man, give me his strength. What? I failed this test, though. You really mean it? Yeah. Ah. But don't worry, I know how to go, you know, go about it. Yeah, you I, know, trust, you, I, I trust you, I trust you, I trust you, I trust you, I trust you. How are you? Man, I'm cool. You look so gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Man, you look wonderful. Oh, yeah. You look so romantic. Mm. You should give me a hug now. Give me a hug, give me a hug. hug eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hug. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Mm. All right. All right. We'll see you then. Take care of yourself. Yeah. yeah. Take see care of yourself. Later. Yeah. All right. Cool. Bye. Bye. See you later in here. feeling you don't want me to go to school. No, it's not that. I was just thinking how I'm going to miss you when you leave for school tomorrow morning. I know. But we agreed you were going to come visit anytime you were free. Yeah. Even at that, 
it doesn't stop me from missing you. No, it won't. You see, I, uh, well, just take me the way I am. See, I try to see if I can make more than this, but this was all I can get. You know, 5,000 there. You didn't have to bother yourself, dear. I know you care for me. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. You see, I hope to do better, much more better than this next time. So you just give me more time and I'll make it better than this. I'll give you all the time in the whole world. Okay? All right. But first, I have a gift for you too. You do? Yeah. This is beautiful. You like it? Yeah. It looks quite expensive. Yeah, my auntie sent it from Switzerland. Switzerland? Wonderful. I was thinking you would say uh, got it from one of your big friends. Don't start, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I've gone through your quotations, um, but. Well, well, as it is now, I have no choice but to give you the contract. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, I appreciate that. In fact, I, I know that my quotation is, is, is fair. And I have the ability. Cut the crap. Yes, sir. Your quotation is not the lowest. Neither are you the best. I just have to give you the job. Thank you. In fact, after finishing this job, you'll be giving me more, sir. You will. Go to the account department. They'll sort you out. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Where did you get that ring? This ring? Yes. Oh, it was a, a present from my girlfriend, my wife-to-be. Oh, I see. It's okay. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, young girl. Why do you want to see me? It is about your test, sir. What about my test? I don't like the marks I got in your test. Isn't there something you can do about it? What exactly do you want me to do? How much money do you want? This is an office. This is my office. This is the film. Simply just take it. Just relax. Janet, help me. I can't do this, okay? I can't do this. How much money do you want me to pay you? I'll give you up front. Money? What do I need money for when I have a beautiful girl like you? You are more than a 
pilonne de l'acte Next time you lay your fury hands on me again, or the next time I fill your test on this campus, you'll be a dead man. How are you? How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Meet my friend Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Lisa, this is Andy. I've been telling you about her. Yeah, I've heard so much about you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Mine too. Yeah. Okay, then. Okay, then. Take care. Hi, dear. God, you look so good. I promised you that I'm going to be rich for your sake, didn't I? This is it, baby. So, how did you make it so fast? It's not something I'll tell you here, okay? I'll take you to a very cool restaurant. And there we sit down under a very good atmosphere and I'll tell you all the juice. That's my car. Over I there. can't wait to hear. Good! Good, that's your car. Right there. <laughs> One of them. Oh god, I'm so excited. Oh, let's get into the car. Oh god. Let's go. Let's go, please. Yeah, baby, what's up? Oh, hi, where have you been? Yeah. You look good. God damn it. Okay then. See I, I'm hurry up, sorry, okay? See you later. You see bye bye then. Hi. Jenny, my dear, you won't believe this. It was like a miracle. I didn't believe I stood any chance, knowing that some very big guys in the clearing industry were also bidding for the same job. But then something gave me the courage to stand there and tell the man what I wanted, the dream I had the night before. I told him what I wanted, and like magic, the man just handed me the job on a platter of gold laced with diamonds. My girl. <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm so happy for you, okay? I'm so, so happy for you. You can see how happy I am. You know, you've gotten there already, you know. That level you've always wanted to get to, God, you're there at last. I told you. And you are going to stay there forever, okay? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I told you I'll make it. Uh -huh. I told you I'll be very rich, stupendous, the wealthy, for your sake. For my sake. Okay. Very rich for your sake. Okay. But Jenny, I didn't like what I saw on campus today. <clears throat> what did you see on campus today? I saw a lot of uh, riffraffs, fly by night moonshiners, never do wells, hugging you in public. That's not good. <laughs> Girl, you're a bushman. <gasps> okay. Yeah, I'm a bushman. You can say that. I accept. Listen, Western education shouldn't be an instrument for denigrating our culture and tradition. We don't hug women that are not our wives. 
in public. And that was what you were doing. So if you say I'm a bushman, I accept. And a very jealous one at that, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. My lord, your wish is my command, okay? I won't do that again. Good. So, when are you taking me to the altar? You wait. You just wait. I'll give you the biggest wedding in town. It will be the talk of the town for years to come. Mm -hmm. The country's media will be there. The governor, state house of assembly members, mm -hmm. national assembly members, mm -hmm. and if care is not taken, I will invite the president, his wife, and even the inspector general of police will be there. I can't wait. I can't wait for this wedding to come. I, I, can't, I can't wait to get to this wedding as a bride, okay? I can't wait, okay? I just want it to come very, very fast, you know? It will. God damn it. <laughs> Janet, you've stopped carrying out your duties. My fiance is a very jealous one, my queen. Save us that one. Your loyalty is not to him, but to me. I gave him all he has, and I can withdraw them. Now listen. Punishment for disobedience is very harsh. Just look at your pretty sisters. It all depends on you to bring them husbands. My society expects me to live a life like every other normal human being. My queen, I've got a life to live. According to our desire. And now listen for the very last time. That the punishment for disobedience is very harsh here. You will experience it. But we will still leave you with the power to deal with it. Show me some mercy, my queen. The mercy is to overcome. Now, you go and finish your duties. Music. <laughs> vacation now? Well, uh, I thought you've lost your phones. I've been calling all day. No, uh, uh, I didn't lose my phones. As a matter of fact, I switched them off because I was having um, serious business negotiations with my partners. That's why. Yeah, well, why don't you sit down? Relax. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, um, this is Vivian. Um, she's one of my business partners as well. Hi, Vivian. Nice to meet my fiancé's business partner. Uh, ladies, excuse me. I let me get something upstairs. All right. So, Vivian, you are his business partner. You heard him. Exactly. What kind of business do you do? I beg your pardon. What kind of a stupid question is that? Why didn't you ask him if indeed he was your fiancé? You're a rude girl. I don't like rude people. Oh, better still. I don't want you to like me. You wouldn't like it if I hate you. What? Are you threatening me? Is that what you are doing? And who cares whether you like or hate me? Who? You'll see 
Não, não é isso que é. I did anything to her. Okay, whatever, but I don't want her to die here. Janet, please. Mm. <sighs> Nami, why are you doing this? Is this the love you promised me? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, Janet, I'm sorry. Okay, whatever it is, please forgive me. But do something. I don't want this girl to die here, please. You don't know yourself. Don't forgive you this time. But if you try it next time. Hmm. Well, from what you've told me, I think that Janet must have some evil powers. Yeah. She must be possessed. It's strange indeed. Oh, my brother. We live in perilous times. Indeed. Indeed, we live in perilous times. But Chid, what do I do now? What do you suggest I do? I advise that you break your relationship with her. Yeah, break it completely. Don't even have any second thoughts about it. Because... She's not fit for you at all. That will be difficult. Hmm? That will be very difficult to do. I mean, I love that girl. I intend to marry her. Intend to? Yes, I intend to marry Janet. <laughs> you must have balls of steel. I like that. But from what I see, Janet is not marriage material at all. She's not. That's the truth from a true friend. Because I've seen what this sort of thing can do to people. I wouldn't like you to go down the drain. No. But rather than think about it, just break it up. It's kind of hard, but you can. Hmm? Give it a try. Janet, what is this? What are you in my sitting room? How on earth did you get in here? I can go anywhere I want, anytime I want. Advisor, stay away from my affairs. You'll be lucky this time, but if you try it next time, I will deal with you. Others.
Man, I've been trying to reach you on phone since morning. What happened? Ah. Chidi, what's the problem now? Namdi, leave me alone. Don't you understand? What have I told you about Janet? Just forget it. I will withdraw my comments. I don't want to be involved. It's all between you two. Right? I'm not trying to put us under anything. Just stay. Go. Janet, listen to me. I don't know what I've done to you to deserve the treatment I'm getting from you. You have succeeded in scaring away my friends and business partners, and I don't like that. Just listen to yourself. Do you have to lie to, to, to block off all the bad things you've been doing? What girl? You call huh? me a liar? Janet, you call me a liar? I won't take that. Okay? I won't just take that. You know what? It is so amazing how much you have changed of late, Nando. And I don't even know what has changed you. The money or, or what? It is you who has refused to change. You have refused to understand that with my rising profile, I need, I need time for, for my business and social responsibilities. Ah. So now you're saying I'm not good enough for you. So now you're saying I'm not good enough for your rising profile. Hey, God, I need, how I need space. Ah. Okay, I need time for my business and social responsibilities without you standing over my shoulder all the time. All you the need time. space. You need space. That is what you want. Okay? I will leave and you will never see me again. And don't you ever come looking for me. Listen, I didn't mean it that way. I... There she goes. Are you free, man? Yeah, free, 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 like a bird in the air. <laughs> and I'm free to love again, free to mingle with anybody, free to live your life the way you want. <laughs> <laughs> What's a pretty girl like you doing on a lonely road like this? I go in my direction. 
And where is your direction? Naturally, you can see I'm at a four mountain type of form. A place where there's no darkness or sorrow. Hmm. You sound as if you're not from those are world of sorrow and darkness. You can say that again. Look, I'm from Planet Bliss. Really? Yeah. A place where the sun shines all year round. A place where our grass is made of, guess what? Raw gold. <laughs> Sounds interesting. <laughs> so, I thought angels live up there. What are you doing on Earth? Well, let's just say I came from heaven to fulfill an earthly assignment. Oh my God. Um, look, I think I'm the luckiest guy on planet Earth. Yes. So, Angel, are you going to bless me with some of your angelic stuff? Um, why not? You want to hop in? Why not? Excuse me while I go to the ladies. Order for two. Angels are not choosy when it comes to food and drinks. Hmm. That is much. Please excuse me. Okay. Don't be long now. Foolish man that you are. I command your spirit into this image. I came into your life and you became rich. I leave your life now and you return to abject poverty. By the power of the deep of the oceans. Return to abject poverty. Return to abject poverty. Angel is starving, please. Let's eat and talk later, okay? is on the line. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hello, Joe. Yeah, Joe, I've been expecting to hear from you since Monday. What happened? Is there a problem? No, 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 no. Joe, please, please, if this is a joke, cut it out. This is not April 1st. What? You can't be serious. How? When? I mean... Wait, you mean all I labored for all my life? Sunk in the sea? No, 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 Joe. I mean, how did you... When did you get this information? Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, Joe. All right, all right. Just hold up there. I'm coming over to the port right away, okay? There must be a mistake somehow. There must be a mistake, Joe.
I'm secretary. Come to my office right away. Yes, come to my office. Cancel all my appointments for today. I don't want to see anybody. Okay, sir. Okay? okay sir. Uh, come back here. I don't want to see anybody, not even you. So make yourself scarce, okay? Go straight to the accounts department. Tell the accountant I said he should not pay out one naira to anybody today. You hear me? Okay, sir. What is this? What kind of calamity is this? What sort of bad luck is this? All I've worked for. Yes, I can't think of anything better to do. I told you I'll call you in my own time. But I've been waiting. Hmm? I don't want to wait in vain. Besides, I'm scared you might rush back to your heavenly home. Cut the jokes, Andy. I don't like people violating my rules. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize um, I'm also dealing with a goddess that must be obeyed. I am not in the mood for jokes, Andy. I will call you later. Hey, 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 Angel, please don't hang up. Don't hang up, please. Please don't hang up. Listen, honey, look, I need you. I'm losing my mind. Oh, I need you, honey. Bye. Hello, Angel. Angel. Hello, Angel. You sounded as if whosoever it was was irritating. So I thought it might be Nandi. Why do you say so, Dad? Janet, I'm being frank. I have observed in recent time that Nandi is no longer happy. We expected something to come out of this this time. Don't start again, Dad. You must not expect every relationship to end in marriage. Truly, I don't expect every relationship to end up in marriage. But I expect one, just one, to end up in marriage. So what's the problem? Dad, are you in such a hurry to send me away? Send you away? <laughs> Janet, I want you to marry a responsible young man. That has always been my prayer and wishes for you. All your... Uh... Dad! It's okay. Let me hold it. Now tell me, what is the problem with Namde? Tell me, I have observed that young man to be very responsible. Dad, Namde is a closed chapter in my life. And I don't discuss that. your boss, Mr. Namdi Mweze. We are from Transform Trade Bank. Uh, sorry, sir. My boss is not on seat at the moment. In that case, wait for him in his office. Uh, no. It's not... You can't go in there, sir. Sir!
Sir, I told them to wait at the reception, but... It's all right. It's all right. Go back to your seat. Yes. Gentlemen, I must say that this is a surprise. I wasn't expecting you. Um, yes. The new development in the bank prompted this visit. You must have uh, heard the problems we are having with the central bank. Oh, yes. These are no easy times for the banking sector. Our case is peculiar. That is why it is necessary to call in our credits. Mr. Nambi, who will expect you to pay back the loan within the specified time? For this time around, there will be no room for monetary. As a matter of fact, I was going to write to inform you officially about the problem I have. You see, the ship carried my goods sunk at high sea. I mean, all my money, huge investment, gone down the drain just like that. And it's, it's killing me financially. We are sorry, but there's nothing we can do. I will advise you to talk to your insurance people. Gentlemen, we've been partners in progress for a long time. At least I should be able to get some reprieve from you. How I wish we could. How I wish we could, Mr. Man, but our hands are tight. You must understand, we are constrained as it is. God. God, what is this? What do I do? What do I do right now? It's not fair. It's not fair and you know it's not true. I talk to her. It's just that I have to be careful so she doesn't think we don't want her around the house. Careful. Careful you said. I hope you don't ruin her future in trying to be careful. Otherwise that will amount to act of irresponsibility on our own part. Look, I know my daughter Janet. I know that once she falls in love, she will marry and settle down. How long? What is wrong with all these eligible bachelors that have been trooping in and out of this place? Now you talk about love. What color or shape of love are you talking about? Tell me! You know Janet is our only child. An only child. She needs to take her time to find the right person. You see, it's not how early you marry that matters, but how well. And let's keep our fingers crossed.
welcome to my home. Oh, it's so nice to have you around. I, you know, I, I was wondering, I, I don't remember giving you my address. Angels can also find out what they wish to find. Oh, interesting. I, I also hope the angels were able to tell you that I'll be thinking about you. All day as a matter of fact. What do you mean? What I'm trying to say is I think... I think I'm in love with you. Call it love at first sight. Love. Love is a dangerous game. I just love the way you... The way you say your... <laughs> the way you use words. I'm in love with this danger. All of it. Even if it's things. Are you sure? Are you sure you can take these things of love? Uh, just try me. Try me. Hmm. Well, well, we shall see. But I need time to find you out. Know, you know what I. Something tells me you're also in love with me. What is that? But for now, let me stop being a bad host. Or do I offer my... My <laughs> goddess. The Immaculate Goddess. <sighs> Your life, spirit, soul and body. Anyhow you want it, just go on, I'm all yours, as long as you promise to be mine. <laughs> what do I find you, apart from all that? Anything. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Hey. 